Welcome to the next installment of Class C RV on a Budget. And today I'm going to talk about how you can take an old RV like mine and make it look new for not that much money. So my 1995 Shasta with the Ford chassis looks a little dated because of the turquoise and blue stripes all over the vehicle. And if we get close, you can see that they've seen better days. They're starting to chip and peel and don't look that great. So my plan is to remove all of the striping and replace it with the new graphics package. I'm assuming that when I get the old um, vinyl off of here that it's going to be sun like a little bit of a sun bleach and you're going to see where it was at but I'm hoping that once we get everything scrubbed up and cleaned up it won't look too bad and then we'll pick out some kind of new cheap graphic scheme to put on here just really bring a lot of new life to this RV because let's face it Ford used the same van chassis for many many years and even though this is a 95 it looks like it could be a 2000s vehicle just by looking at it without the old school graphics on it. So to start I'm going to be using a combination of a razor blade and a roller wheel. And if you don't know what a roller wheel is you'll see here in a minute. I'll leave a link in the description to help take off the uh, graphics. Here it is after a day of working on it. It's tedious work taking off all the old vinyl and end up mostly being the job of a razor blade because the roller wheel was actually burning the fiberglass on the side of the RV. So it's a real slow process. But we got it pretty much done. I just need to do a little bit more work on this door over here to get the glue off. But it's a clean billboard for us to put whatever graphics we want. You see the outline. Alright, so the next step is to put on the new graphics. Alright, now that we've got all the old vinyl graphics removed and got the surface cleaned, you want to make sure there's no wax on the side of the RV. And there isn't any on this RV. Um, so I'm ready to apply the new graphics, and I have them here. And they come, this is an Oracle 651 vinyl. And how it works is we're going to use something called the hinged method and possibly the hinged and wet method. And you'll see how I do that in the video. But how this works is we're going to get everything positioned where it needs to go. And once we get everything in place, we're not going to remove the backing paper until we're absolutely ready to do it, apply the graphics. 
so here's basically what it's going to look like except I have black and dark blue instead of the light blue so that is what it should look like pretty much when we're finished So check it out, there's the finished product on this side. The other side's gonna be the same thing. It's normal for you to have a few small bubbles in the vinyl. If that happens, don't really worry about it. Let it sit in the sun for a few days. Most of them will disappear. Any large ones that don't wanna disappear, you can just take a thumbtack and poke a hole or use a razor and cut a small little slit and push the air out. So I think it looks pretty good. Definitely modernized the look of the RV a little bit. So here's the passenger side of the RV, how it turned out. All right, so I think it turned out pretty good. Definitely modernized the look. It took about 10 years off the age, if you ask me. It was a simple, easy installation. The graphics themselves cost about $140, and there was just a little bit of materials like masking tape and uh, some, some of the paint thinner that we used to get off the old graphics. It's not perfect. But I think it looks pretty good, and it's a lot better than paying a graphic shop like thousands of dollars to do the same thing. So hopefully this helped you out. If you liked the video, subscribe. There'll be plenty more in our Class C RV on a Budget series. Thanks.